Hey, Grego's here, Van Dels Restorations, back in the shed. What's going on today? Well, we've got Violet here. You might have been following the um, the uh, adventures of, of poor old Violet. It's seen better days. But yeah, anyway, we're here to talk about how we're going to repair Violet. Uh, so let's talk about what's been done so far. So this was all uh, chewed out there on this A pillar. That's the inner structure, right? That's not what you see. Um, so Andrew has welded that up with new metal, nice and strong. That's two separate pieces and it's all been seam welded and beautiful. The structure is there. This side only required a little piece in there. So yeah, as I said, the outer skin's still got to go on, but that's going to go on after the nose goes on. So we're ready for the nose now. Um, oh yeah, so there was gaping holes right across there, and the inner there, and across there, and down here, right? Like rust hole central. Um, but you got to remember where, where this is on the car. And this part here, down in behind here, all right, that's your, where your feet go. You know, you got kick panels that go across there. Looking from here, you don't see a single thing. So to, to take the time to grind down all those welds, you know, it's not going to make it any, it's not going to improve the job at all. Like, it's just... To, to paint in there like perfectly it's just ridiculous there's no point all right it's the same as this epoxy on this is like you know rust preventative paint you don't need to add bloody color on something that's going to be completely covered over so the inside of the nose is already epoxied um, now this was all completely knackered Let's just say it was knackered. So um, this one was cut from a wreck down the back because we had it there and it was still actually in good condition. So, um, so this one was welded into the correct place. Um, yeah, it's all plugged and uh, ground back across the front of that because it has to line up with there. Um, so these couple of like bite marks here you wouldn't worry about them when the outer skin comes on um, you know that can be filled with weld and sanded smooth so basically the structure is was still good though but it was rust treated and it was epoxied and that is all you need all right so I've I've seen people who bloody would now paint all that in the, in the gloss and the two pack and whatever like there, there's just no point to it so all that bottom section there, you know, we flood all that with, um, you know, rust preventative stuff. Uh, when the outer skin's on, when this skin's been put on, um, and all the painting's finished, all the welding and painting's finished, then all that area all along here all gets, you know, you put the nozzle in and you just at all with rust prevention and that is all you will ever need you do not need to do any more than that all this area in here you see that uh through the front opening there anyway so you know obviously that's all going to be painted but this area here this structure that hadn't changed that this section here is your guide for this to make sure you put this in the right place and and when the nose sits in place that you know that this skin of the nose here you know it has to sit neatly under there and then this gets welded to that and so yeah you can see that's all welded off yeah we'll smooth those out um but yeah basically that's uh oh yeah you can see where that's welded to the back of that there it's plugged so we'll smooth that up but that's another area you don't see so no point in going crazy just make sure it's got the right paint on it for corrosion protection and that's that's about it because you're not really ever going to see it so the reality is um 
it's time now for the nose to go on so we've had the nose in storage for quite a while um, so it's already epoxied inside just got to clean it down a bit and so this is ready to go so we're going to put this on time lapse and hopefully you can work out how it goes from there this outer edge here um, the skin itself folds around the outside of that um, you've got to put in holes along here don't you yeah yeah um, you got punch holes in there or drill holes in a few areas right where um, so that you can weld to the appropriate places so but yeah getting the nose into place and then getting the two edges folded around that's the trick so that's that's the tougher part so we're just going to put it on time lapse and i'll talk to you later when we've got the nose sort of fitting in place and that'll give you an idea of what how it goes so alrighty. righty